Hi, you guys, and welcome to another deep conversation um, with your girl, Sean. Y'all, y'all already know what it is. It's some love and marriage, Huntsville conversation, and we're going to get into it. And y'all, my opinions on this trailer, I don't know, but let's go and get into it. So, as usual, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend. We are trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Let's try to get there by uh, March so we can have a real live conversation, you guys, and we can really, you know, really, really talk, right? I mean, the comment's good and all, but y'all, let's have a real conversation. You call me, I call you, okay? So, um, if you don't know, the trailer for Love and Marriage Huntsville has dropped and the show will premiere on March 19th. So what, we got a month away for it. And if you haven't seen the trailer, go over to the Love and Marriage Huntsville uh, fan page, but just put Love and Marriage Huntsville and their fan page will come up and it's over there on Instagram and go watch the trailer. So the trailer is only like 30 seconds long. Of course, it's not really long. So it's about 30 seconds long and you see Martel, of course, you see Martel, you see Maurice and Marceau, Kimmy and Marceau, Destiny in a flash, and I think Tisha in a flash. So you hear Martel, Mar Martel, Martel says, you, I think he's talking to Lewis. So you do know that Lewis and Tiffany were brought back. So Martel is talking to Lewis and he says that he has a recording of Miss Melody Hope, honey, has a recording of her and about her cheating. And he's not going to be the only one being the bad guy. He said he's tired of having that title of being the bad guy because Melody cheated also. So he's telling it to Lewis. Then it flashed over to Marte, uh, excuse me, to Maurice and Marceau. And they're talking about the picture that Marceau dropped on his Instagram when all of them was in Atlanta. So that was dropped. Then they flashed back to Martel, and Martel brought up the picture that Marceau had dropped on his Instagram. Then you see Melody, and Melody is talking to someone. They don't show who Melody is talking to. And they're talking about how Martel dropped this alleged tape. Then it flashes over to Maurice. And and I may be out of order, but this definitely did happen. It flashes over to Maurice and Kimmy. And Kimmy asks Maurice, was the rumors true? Maurice did not answer. He just kissed her. That's how that scene ended. And then you flash to Destiny and you flash to Tisha and boom, there was your 30 second trailer for the Love and Marriage Huntsville that will be premiere in March on March 19th. So let's get into the trailer. Like I said, you guys go check it out and then y'all come back and drop your comments. So I'm going to tell you guys what I think about the season, this trailer and what I'm expecting for this season. First, I want to start off with Martel. Martel pretty much trying to put out there that you know melody did bad and i don't understand why everybody is looking at me as the bad guy and i will no longer take that rep anymore i don't want that rep of being the bad guy i'm getting this off of me and look what she did so this is my thing and i'm gonna go case by case which is i'm gonna do couple by couple and i'm gonna start with martel and melody even though they're technically not a couple anymore but they go together you know can't say one name without saying the other right and with mel and martel i do not want to talk about this again we've done this for three years I don't want to go in year four and you're still talking about the indiscretions and the infidelity of you guys' marriage. You're divorced now. Martel, wh what are you gaining by trying to prove that Melody cheated? Like, what are you trying to do at this point? You don't want the stigma, baby. I don't care what you do, what you drop, what you say. You will always be labeled as the bad guy. Point blank, period, and the end. There's nothing that you can honestly do to get that off of you. Why? Because you have a whole one-year-old son. 
a whole one-year-old son that was uh, produced while you were married. You have a whole, you dang near have ghetto twins at this point. So the fact that you want to come out and try to proclaim yourself as being really the good guy in this situation is crazy to me. I find it to be crazy. I find it to be ridiculous, honestly, at this point, because again, y'all are divorced. What are you trying to prove at this point, Martell? Okay. It's out that she cheated. She admitted, boom and bam. Now what? Because y'all not together, friend. Like, y'all not together. So, I'm not really understanding as to what are you doing to get this. Like, what you gaining from this? You put her out there. I don't think you're realizing that it's still not going to change the scope of how people see you. They may side-eye her a little bit, but it's not going to change the overall that, baby, you done cheated for seven years. And y'all only been married for 11, for 10 to 11 years. Like, come on. Please tell me as to what are you trying to fix in this situation? That's number one. Melody, I do feel like Melody really don't talk about Martell and his indiscretions unless somebody bring it up. Every now and again, she will. I really do hope that Melody do come and approach this situation and don't even give it no type of thought, no life. If somebody says something to you about it, just be like, oh, okay. So the weather is pretty outside. Like, move on. Because as long as you're digging into it, he's going to dig into it. And I am going to side-eye you, Melody, a little bit. Because you're trying so hard to defend something. The truth don't need no help. So if it didn't happen, my thing is, why are you trying so hard to defend it? The truth don't need help. It is what it is. Um... We can go back to the reunion and they, you know, she admitted to when they were separated and she did have a gentleman friend and they did, you know, he performed a act on her and that was the it, you know, that was it. She can't remember if she did it to him and all of that. And I call bull crap on that simply because you grown. Number one, you divorced. Secondly, number three, if you would have, won't just go ahead and admit it. What he going to do? Whoop you. And you're trying to keep this image. But if it's true and it's out there, won't you get ahead of it and just call a thing a thing? That's just me. Um, Maurice and Marceau, they're looking like they're going to kind of, I don't want to use the word bump heads, but Marceau is really going over and beyond and throwing his brother under the bus. And I did a video about this um, a week or so ago and talking about how I didn't understand why Marceau was really doing this to his brother. Well, since the trailer has dropped, I get it. Um, I don't really understand the purpose of this. One, because it's been so many years ago. I don't know why we're going backwards. Um, it's so much more stuff that I feel like they can talk about. So I don't really understand why we're going back to 2015 about something. But oh, okay. Oh, that's what we're doing. All right. That, um, yeah, I'm going to get my total come in about that at the very end my overall then we have um Maurice and Kimmy talking and Kim and Kimmy asks her the, him the question is the rumors true and I'm assuming the rumors are were you cheating back in 2015 he didn't answer at least it wasn't shown that way on the video uh, on the trailer i'm sure he probably did answer maybe he didn't i don't know it could be for dramatic effects and it's probably why they showed to where maybe he didn't answer um and they flashed to this and they flashed to tisha and that was the trailer so one thing i do not want is for this Re, uh, I'm about to say reunion. One thing I do not want is for this show to start turning into Love and Hip Hop, Real Housewives of whatever, Atlanta, Potomac, Salt Lake, 
Dallas, whoever, fill in the blank. And what I mean by that is because I don't want it to get scripted. I don't want it to get to the point to where y'all just saying anything to have a storyline. And with that being said, let's go back to Mel and Martell. Baby, we dead it. It's done and over with. Y'all divorced. Let's move on. I don't want to talk about y'all. I don't want y'all to talk about y'all. You know, move on. Let Martell talk about what he want to talk about over there on his side. Melody don't give it no flack. I know it's probably a little too late because I'm sure y'all done rapped and done rapping, but to me, it don't even make sense. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. And I do feel like that'll be a turnoff for your viewers and the viewers are tired of it. I know I am. Um, Maurice and Marceau, to me, they've always had a united front. They've always been thick as thieves. And here we go again. I'm going back to where I think it's kind of like, let's have a storyline. Why are we talking about this? Why is it a thing? Marceau have always been so hell bit on what the blogs say. Let them say it. It don't affect my day to day if y'all want to believe it. But now all of a sudden it's a, let's talk about what the blogs say. Now it's a, yeah, let's talk about something that happened back in 2015. And you're throwing your brother under the bus. Is this a scripted you, I don't understand it as to why you're doing it. And again, this happened back in 2015-ish. Here we are in 2022. Help me help you. I don't understand why we're talking about this. Same thing with Kimmy and Maurice and about the rumors of him cheating back in 2015. You guys were not married. Y'all only been married for all of what, two, three years now? Two and a half, three years and we want to go back to 2015? It doesn't matter, Kimmy. And again, I think y'all are going down the road of y'all losing the, of y'all being authentic. I used to, I love that about the show, that it was authentic, that we wasn't, you know, bringing baby daddies from 2012 to make it seem like we're back together you know we're not ambushing people with babies on the way you know like some loving hip-hop type stuff like or you know any type of you hiring men you know to be your man like the bravo people do that the vh1 people do that and i don't understand as to why it seemed like it's kind of starting to bleed over in love and marriage huntsville because again, Kimmy have always struck me to be the uh, confident one. I don't pay attention to the bull crap. She's the logic one of out of everybody in the group. So I don't really understand as to why you're questioning something yet again. Here we go for something that happened back in 2015 and you guys weren't even married, let alone were y'all even dating at that time. And if we go back to last season, Maurice and Kimi both admitted that he was definitely out there. He was in the streets. He was for the streets. Maurice was for the streets. So I don't understand as to how and why it's a big deal and why we're talking about it. Please don't hit me with the fake storylines just for sake of having a storyline. That's crazy to me, especially for something that happened in 2015. This didn't happen last year. This didn't happen last month. This didn't even happen at the beginning of 2020, and it's just now coming out. I can see if even if that was the case, but we're going back to 2015 is a no for me. Um, And that's it. Them the only talking points that they had on the show. I mean, excuse me, on the trailer. Like I said, it was only 30 seconds. So they're really not showing that much. And you saw the flash of Destiny and you saw the flash of Tisha. Um, I'll say this. I'm going to watch it and I'm watching for every episode. But I'm going to critique the heck out of them if I feel like this is being scripted and if I feel like you guys are just um, really just grasping at anything just so the sake of having a storyline and the sake of because we got renewed for another season. Um, I don't want the fakeness of it all. I don't want it. Let's talk about something else. Let's, you know... I feel like there's enough going on in you guys' relationship, your marriage, your business, and all of that to talk about who cheated and why they cheated and when they cheated. We see enough of that on Bravo. We see enough of that on VH1. I do, I, and I really do like 
own because it wasn't so, i mean like there was drama don't get me wrong but it wasn't so it wasn't the center if that makes sense like a vh1 and a bravo you know it wasn't the center of it and i feel like we're, we're starting to get a little vh1 ish bravo ish to me you know but that's just that's my pre conceived notion with all that can change when the season start so there you have it that's my take on the trailer um y'all drop down in the comments tell me what you guys think it drops march 19th i will be reviewing every episode the show come on on saturday i will review it on sunday simply because i like to record it and I like to fast forward through the commercials. Anybody else like that? Because that's definitely me. I would, I rarely watch the show, any show that I'm watching the day it comes out. I will always watch it either the next day or later on throughout the day because I want to be able to fast forward right through the commercials. But that's it, you guys. We're a month out and I will be coming to you guys literally every week and maybe more than that because you know when the show started starts the people going to get to tweet and comments and all of that and i'm talking about the cast when i say the people all right you guys y'all know what to do we'll talk in another conversation bye